What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks videos. Today we are looking at how to get free car mods for life in Grand Theft Auto 5. This process involves buying a property. Now if you have no clue how to buy a property in Grand Theft Auto 5, you're in good luck because I made a video just the other day on how to do that. So click on the screen right now. It shows you how to buy properties, how the whole system works, how to collect your income, all that fun stuff. Click on the screen right now. I highly suggest you guys check it out before you start this video. So first things first, if you've been watching my videos, I'll probably sound like a broken record here, but you need to complete the Friends Reunited mission in order to unlock the ability to buy properties. If you're just starting off, this is about 25% through the story. And once you've done that, you can head up to Los Santos Customs way up in Blaine County in Grand Sonora Desert. I was actually shocked at how out of the way this is, especially for Franklin. Also, keep in mind, only Franklin can purchase Los Santos Customs and get these free car mods. Which makes total sense since he's got that special driving ability that slows down time. And when you arrive at the Los Santos Customs in Blaine County, you will see that familiar Dynasty 8 sign. Go ahead and purchase the property. It will knock you down $349,000, but give you a weekly income of $1,600. Since there has been some confusion on my previous videos concerning properties and earning a profit, it does take four years of in-game time in order to earn a profit on this particular property. It's a long-term investment, but you do end up making money in the end. You put down that $349,000 initially, you earn $1,600 a week that's automatically deposited into your account, and it does take 218 weeks of earning that weekly income in order to turn a profit on this property. Now, I actually think this is one of the smartest properties you can buy because of the free car mods. I mean, you're saving a ton of money by buying this property, and you're still earning that weekly income. Like I said, it's going to take four years for you to see a profit by just earning weekly income, but technically you're saving a lot of money if you do a lot of car mods, which is one of the most fun things to do in this game. Especially when you've beaten the game and you have nothing else to do. Just get a bunch of cars, mod the crap out of them, store them in your garage, race them in some of the races. There's a ton of stuff to do with the cars in this game. So I'm just showing you guys here, everything is absolutely free. Everything you can think of. Cosmetic stuff, actual performance stuff, you know, you can actually increase the stats as you can tell on the left. Some of them do increase if you get some of these mods. It actually does make a difference and you can feel the difference when you're driving around. You can get an awesome paint job, make your car look really, really badass. And it's just a really fun time. This is what my car looked like after I got it completely modded out. Completely awesome. I really, really love it. It's got some red tire smoke. That makes no sense, but I don't care. I got the mod. It's awesome. I got it re-sprayed to chrome. So the whole thing is chrome. It looks dark because it's nighttime here, but it's chromed out and it's really freaking awesome. Just out of mere curiosity, I wanted to test a few things just to make sure I knew everything about modding and getting free mods. So I went to this other Los Santos Customs in Los Santos downtown kind of area and it does cost money. So you only get the free mods at that one location that I showed you guys. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, if you screw up your car on the way there, you get a free repair and you get all those free mods as well. And the other thing I was curious about was modding the default car. Of course, you know, it would make sense for the mods to stay there and they do. So here you go. You can tell that I modded that car. I came back and it respawned right there perfectly fine and kept all the mods that I got for free at that Los Santos Customs in Blaine County. And that is all I have for you guys today in this video. As always, I hope you learned something new from it. And if you did, remember to click that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, this is your number one hub for Grand Theft Auto 5 tips, tricks, guides, all that fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace.